Who's that? It's a boy. A son for King Henry. A son? A son? And on the same day in another part of London, far from the rich palaces of Westminster, another child was born. Tom Canty, all that joy is not for you. Excellent. Father Andrew, you said you'd teach me about the English kings next. Tom Canty! Tom Canty! Come here! Um, go to your father, lad. We'll finish the lesson later. Still alone, mate. Eh? Your books are your learning. I'll learn you something. Ten years old you are now, do you hear? Old enough to do an honest day's begging. Now get out! And don't come back empty-handed. children anywhere? Indeed, Mrs. Canty. In there, young Tom set up his royal court again. <laughs> oh, that boy. What an imagination. Always playing the little king. <laughs> Princess Bet and Lady Nan, you may be seated. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Chancellor, <laughs> you will change the laws. All the poor people will receive food and new clothes and, uh, and a penny a day. A penny a day, is it? You can't even beg a penny a week. I hate begging for money. If you won't beg for it, you'll have to steal it. I will not steal. We'll see about that. Mr. Canty, please don't. Boy, cover ya! Hello, Tom. A 
Hello. Where are you going? To Westminster Palace to see the Prince of Wales. Oh. <laughs> a lusty lad, young Edward. He'll make a formidable king. Like his father, eh? <laughs> Sir, that's against the law. Oh, I must, or my father punishes me. I'll send him to the tower for that. I'll. Put it there. Don't touch that. It is the Great Seal of England. My lord. Only my father, the king, or I may touch the Great Seal. <coughs> It will be safe here. Tell me, do you ever have time to play? Oh, yes, sir. My friends and I, we swim in the river and sometimes have mock fights with cudgels. I would like that. And there's punch and judy shows and foot races. If only I could exchange clothes with you and live your life for a short time. I have always dreamed of living your life, sir, and wearing such beautiful clothes. Why not? It's done, then. Here, give me your clothes. You take mine. Your worship, we we look yes, exactly alike, except for that mark on your hand. What is it? Oh, it's nothing. That soldier at the gate bruised me when he pushed me back. Oh, he did, did he? I'll have him punished. Oh, but sir, no, do not stir. I command it. My father's subjects shall not be treated so cruelly. You eat. I'll attend to that guard. Open the gates! Unbar the gates! Ah, oh, it's you! Get me into trouble with his highness, eh? I am the Prince of Wales. My person is sacred. Take your hands off me! I salute your royal highness. Hey, <laughs> off with you. Make way for his royal highness. Make way for the Prince of Wales. <laughs> I am the Prince of Wales. My person is sacred. <laughs> that cheeky beggar. 
teach you to make fun of the good prince. Yeah, we'll crowd him properly. Come on. of Wales is... Uh, has... Has what? Uh, your son has... taken leave of his senses. Edward? Mad? What treason is this? You're speaking of the next king of England. Uh, my, uh, my lord... On your feet, man. Bring him to me. Now! So you're having a joke with the good king, your father, eh? You're the king? Then I'm doomed. So, it's true. He does not even know me. Come to me, child. You are not well. Physician, is his memory quite gone? Poor faces, my liege, and customary behavior. I will try a language. Edward, do you know this? Multa legas facito tum lectis neglege multa. Nam miranda canont, sed non credenda poetae. Ah, he knew that. My son is ill. But it is not serious, nor permanent. Too many books have affected his mind. My Lord of Hartford. Your Majesty. See that the Prince does no more study. Listen, all of you. Whoever speaks of my son's illness, 
speaks treason. And I will have him in the tower. That is my command. Edward, go now with your Uncle Hartford. I am weary and sick. Must have rest. And now, sir, you must be dressed for the river pageant and banquet. Banquet? Yes. On the river first, so the people may see you. There will be celebrations and great rejoicing. Yes. And on to the guild hall, where you will be officially proclaimed the Prince of Wales. But you must try to remember. The king desires it. Oh, I will try. I will. When must I dress for this, um, banquet? Oh, great heavens. You do not dress yourself. I don't dress myself. I don't walk by myself. I don't eat by myself. <laughs> it's a wonder you don't breathe for me as well. My lord, I... Who does dress me? Why, there's the second gentleman of the bedchamber, the head ranger of Windsor Forest, the chancellor royal, the master of the wardrobe, the constable of the tower, the chief steward. My lord? My lord? Uh, yes. Humphrey Marlowe, the royal whipping boy. Whipping boy? Um, Lord Hartford, may I speak to him alone? You do not ask, sir. You command. His Highness wishes to be alone. My Lord, I... I... Wait, wait. I, um... Uh... I have been ill lately and have forgotten many things. You must help me. Yes, my lord. Now you're my, um, my whipping boy. Uh, what do you do? When you don't learn your work properly, the teacher punishes me. You? Why doesn't he punish me? Oh, never. Your person is sacred, sir. No one may lay a hand on you. Oh. And the king has said that you must not study, and I fear I will lose my employment and starve. Hmm. Um, I command you to remain my servant, to, uh, to remind me of all that I have forgotten. Thank you, sir. And when I take to my books again, I will study so badly that you will have plenty of work to do. Rise, Humphrey Marlowe. Grand whipping boy to the Royal House of England. Let me out, you devils. Open the door. Tom? Tom Canty? It's me, Father Andrew. Wait a minute. You! What are you doing here? Let this boy out. You interfering old fool. Get out! Oh, oh. Uh, hey, you've hurt him. Oh, I don't care. But he's a priest. We can hang for this. Father Andrew? Where are you, Father Andrew? Father Andrew! we got to leave the city. I'll take the breath. Meet me at London Bridge. At the last linen draper's shop. The prince is coming to his senses. God bless the Prince of Wales. Get out of my way. Not so fast, friend. The young prince goes to the guild hall to die. This is an holiday. The guild hall? Let me pass. Not before you drink to the prince's health, you sour name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll feed you to the fishes. All right. I'll drink. Where's the loving? Yeah, yeah, Take it, drink the loving. Oh, it's 
crazy. I am Edward, Prince of Wales. This banquet is for me. Oh, throw him in the river. Yeah, duck him in the river. That'll cool off a hot head. <laughs> Don't touch the child. What's this? Another prince in disguise. <laughs> sorrow bravely. I... I will. I'll take you to my lodgings, just there, near the bridge. Come on. Subject, sire. No, no. You deserve a rich reward. Name anything you desire. It shall be yours. Uh, one thing, then. I beg that I and my heirs may sit in the presence of the King of England. Rise, Sir Miles Hendon, knight, and be seated. That privilege is yours forever. How long have you been away from England? Ten long years, my lord. A soldier. But three more days will see us back where I was born. Master of Hendon Hall once again. And I will accompany you to Hendon Hall, till I am master of all England once again. <laughs> Thomas 
see Ma. My lords, His Majesty wishes to inform you that due to the exhausting nature of his duties and his coming coronation, this royal audience is uh, temporarily suspended. It's a long way to Hendon Hall. The little king is gone. Near Hendon Hall? 
just up there on the hill. But if you... Wait! Come back! King of dreams and shadows. So you're alive. Thank goodness. Welcome, my lord, to Hendon Hall. See, that's Hugh's apartment. He's my younger brother. Sly, cunning devil. Always has been. Hendon Hall. And it's all mine. 72 rooms and 26 servants. What do you think of that? Not very big. Hmm? Oh, yes, I, I forgot about your highness's palaces. Oh, and of course, you must meet my lady Edith. She's very beautiful. We're to be married, you know. Answer the door, Blake. Yes, Master Hugh. Well, hurry up, you old fool. Blake, still with us. It's good to see you. Hugh! Hello. Well, aren't you going to welcome me home? Who are you? you? Miles. Your brother, of course. Look at me. I don't know you. Look at me. It's Miles. Miles Hendon is dead. Killed in battle. I am the master of Hendon Hall, and you... You are an imposter. But... But you... I... Guards! Seize this rogue! Disarm him! Release him! And that young one! Are you mad? No, but you must be to think you can take Hendon Hall from me. Throw them in prison! <laughs> Now I know what it's like to lose my kingdom. The coronation. I must get to London. Oh, did you speak? No, it was nothing. Warder, open this cell. Now, here's your proof. Warder, witness this. Yes, sir. Edith, my lady. Quiet. Do you know this man? No. My lady. I have never seen him in my life before. You all heard that? I've wasted enough time on this folly. Leave him. Edith. Edith! My Lord Hart said my memory is still faulty. Remind me about the coronation. Your Majesty, you have only three days to prepare. The recognition procession starts from the tower. And goes to Westminster Abbey? Yes, my lord. Through the whole city of London. And, uh, who will be at my coronation? The entire nobility of England and princes from every land. You know, Hartford, I sometimes quite enjoy being king. But I am here, Sir Miles. I will insist that... Miles Hendon, step out. Is this the man? Yes, sir. For disturbing the peace, I should sentence you to a week in the stalls. This man is innocent. My lord, state that... Shh, shh. No. I will ignore that outburst. 
I'm being lenient with you because you both seem to have taken leave of your senses. Uh, yes, sir. You believe you're master of Hendon Hall? And the lad thinks he's the King of England. The world's getting mad. I'm setting you free, but you must leave this parish immediately. Sir Hugh has gone already. He is seeking an earldom from his majesty. Huh. All he'll get from me is a prison cell. What? I'll explain later, Blake. We must go. Try to get an audience with the king. And I am going to Westminster Abbey now. But where will I meet you? If you're going to see the king afterwards, you'll meet me. Wait. Crown of England upon that head. 
I am the king. Leave him alone. He is the king. The king's sickness has returned. Don't touch him. My lord, the king, let poor Tom Canty be the first to swear loyalty to you. Take the crown. It is yours. It is a striking resemblance. What if... With your permission, my lord, I would like to ask a question which will solve this mystery. Yes? For the past three weeks, we have been unable to find the great seal of England. Only the true king knows where it is. Tell me, where is the great seal? Mm, it's, uh, uh, ah, ah, yes. It's in the suit of armor in the room of the small study at Westminster Palace. It is a striking resemblance. The seal is not there. Seize him! Wait! He is the real king. I saw him hide it in the armor. I took it out and put it behind the books on the bottom library shelf.